Hello everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video. We're going to try and get the times on What's In My Head by Fuzz. So Fuzz are like a garage rock alternative indie kind of band. They have a lot of, as you can tell by the name, Fuzz times going on. So you might not know who Fuzz are, but you probably will know or have heard of Ty Seagal. So Ty Seagal is in that garage rock grungy alternative scene and he has a lot of cool albums by himself but for fuzzy teams up with charles moot heart on guitar and he actually plays drums in fuzz and he sings as well what's in my head is a great song from a great album if you haven't already go and check it out it's a really fantastic garage rock album it has some great tones on there and again loads of great fuzz sounds so Charles and Ty are very well known for using Death by Audio Effects pedals, most namely the Fuzz War. Now I don't have a Fuzz War to nail this sound, but I do have a client of a Fuzz War. So the pedal that I'm going to be using throughout for all of the parts is the Fuzzing Warrior by Defects pedals. Like I said, this is a Fuzz War client, but it also has a treble booster on there as well, but I'm not going to use that throughout this, we're just going to use the Fuzz side. So I recently did a demo of the Fuzzing Warrior, so if you'd like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Other than that, I'm using this 1965 reissue Jazzmaster, my old Silverface Twin Reverb, and that's being recorded with the Boss Wazza Tube Amp Expander. Now I'm using the Jazzmaster because Ty and Charles are very well known for using these offset Fender style guitars, like a Jazzmaster and a Jaguar kind of vibe. And then I do believe they actually use old Silverface Fenders as well. So there's a couple of different parts that I did for the intro song that we can hear on the original song, but the times itself are quite simple. Now I have dialed the reverb on the amp quite high, well it's not super high but it's noticeable so when you're hearing the chord stabs you actually hear the reverb tail nicely as well. So we're going to actually use the same settings on the fuzz pedal throughout the whole way but for the cleaner parts and the little main riff that's a bit more chilled we're just going to roll down the volume ever so slightly on the guitar because this fuzz pedal really does work well with rolling down the volume just to clean it up a bit and then we roll it up for the big heavy parts. So the main riff and chords throughout are actually double tracked. On the right side we have the guitar that goes... So it has the little riff in between and then on the left side it's just the chord stabs going... So really simple and that's in that sense as i said we have the same settings for all the guitar parts on this on the pedal and we're just using the volume control so i'll pull out both of those rhythm guitar tracks from the intro song first it'll be the one with the main riff and then it'll be the one where it's just the chord just so you can hear and see exactly what's going on i had the volume rolled down to about seven so only slightly it just cleans up the pedal a little bit and again it has the same settings on both but you'll see those settings on screen now anyway So 
So the only other part in this song is the two ascending riffs. So we have a repeat of. And then the second guitar comes in doing harmony of that. So we'll pull out the riff that starts first and then after you've heard all that, I'll pull out the other one just so you can hear the harmonies. Again, I have the same settings on the fuzz pedal for all the parts. So it's exactly the same as the chord parts. We just have our volume control on 10. <laughs> And then after that, it goes back to the clean little chord thing with a couple of different variations. So I'll pull that bit out of the intro song as well. Again, we would just roll down to about seven on the guitar. So there we have it, that was a look at how to get the tones on What's In My Head by Fuzz. Again, this is probably one of my favourite all-time albums. It's just great riffs throughout the whole thing. Every song is a great song and it's really worth checking out. So the Fuzz and Warrior really came in handy for nailing Lloyd's Wall of Sound, Fuzz Tones at Tight and Charles are so well known for. And then of course the Jazz Master really helping to get those tones because of the fact that Charles and Ty are so well known for using these offset Jazz Master and Jaguar style guitars. So again, if you want to see my demo of the Fuzz and Warrior, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.